तत्त धीम तकिट धीम तीन तत्म divest ourselves of what we know what is called the na mama or not mine or not me space is a quite a quite a terrifying thing for us for our mind to be in a something that is unknowable something that can't be captured as understanding that is not an easy proposition so these ancient ritual traditions absolutely knew the reality of this and therefore they had these invocations of what are called doorway deities and they are usually very ferocious deities that are slightly wild and often quite unkempt but they are loyal they are supportive they are protective and the promise of these deities is that we will hold your hand as you step into this cave which is dark and which is unknowable but you can be guaranteed of our ferocious company one of these deities is mahakala and one of the most beautiful invitations of mahakala is the invitation to attend to the structure within us which is our framework our skeletal the bone framework and this is because he holds this this skull bowl in his hand now there are many narratives and symbolic uh, interpretations of this bowl and here we are taking a very body led and a movement and dance led approach to this invitation so let me just share with you a very simple practice of mahakala so taking a wide stance because mahakala has got this very wide spread rather kind of spread and flat kind of stance and the first thing we can do is as we drop down into the weight here to really feel how the ball of our foot and the heel really takes the weight of our body and feeling those bones and then as we do that feeling this wonderful movement of the possibilities of the ankle the knees really return to the bones to start moving from the bones and here is this beautiful ball of the hip so here is this architecture of our lower body which holds us up right the ball of the hip which holds so many important organs in the body the sides of the body the rib cage wonderfully allowing our hearts to rise up to the sky and then dipping into the waters of the earth and then connect us in all ways in this wonderful we hardly ever do these movements then the collar bones the neck this wonderful neck which holds this ball here the ball where we think all our intelligence is located but of course there's intelligence within our bones within the movements of our joints and then the jaw the eyes in their socket so mahakala's eyes move from side to side really highlighting the sockets and that awareness of our eyes within again held held in the balls of our sockets this returning this beautiful invitation to return as we move to the bones the structure of our bodies the very the ball that holds life reality our intelligence consciousness everything and what is the nature of the structure it is multidimensional it moves it's made for movement it's made to move so it is not true that systems and structures in reality have to be rigid have to be um uh without movement have to be still have to be permanent but that they can actually move this the structure that is within us the structure of reality that holds our our very uh, our very uh, sense of being in this earth together the ball 
is itself capable of incredible fluidity movement. In fact, I would say it's made to dance. And so this is the invitation to consider how this can mirror the structures that we live by, that they can also dance, be fluid, be multidimensional, be beauteous, and allow us to dance with this, all of the structures of reality itself.